Hey everybody, in my recent video discussing how Microsoft has basically did away with being able to activate Windows 10 and Windows 11 using Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 keys, I received a comment from a viewer stating that it's still possible when you install an older version of, for example, Windows 11. Now, of course, this machine here, we probably know this is the HP, or excuse me, the Compaq Presario V6000. I have Windows 10 1709 installed. So, what we're going to do is we're going to connect this to the internet and we're going to attempt to activate Windows 10 using a Windows 7 product key. So let's go ahead and pull up activation. You can see right there it's prompting us to activate Windows. Now it's saying we can't activate Windows on this device because that activation servers aren't available right now. All right, so it says we can't activate Windows on this device because you don't have a valid digital license or product key. So let's go ahead and go to change product key. And here we're going to type in our Windows 7 product key. Okay, at this point it's going to validate the key on the Windows installation. Alright, let's attempt to activate. Okay, so we're still getting the error, unable to activate in Windows. We can't activate Windows on this device because you don't have a valid digital license or product key. If you think you do have a valid license or key, select troubleshoot below, and we click close. <laughs> well, we get a blue screen of death. That's great. <laughs> All right, so um, it appears that what I said in my previous video stands correct. It really does not matter. Um, it really doesn't matter if you're using a new build of Windows 10 or 11 or an older build of Windows 10 or 11. It's just, yeah. Um, I think in the case, so the, the, the viewer left the comment stating that they were able to activate Windows 11 using 21H2 a clean installation of 21H2 and then once it's activated then they could reinstall or install 22H2 and everything would be good to go but the thing is Microsoft they really don't care what build of Windows 10 or Windows 11 you're running it's just the fact that as you can see the uh, OS validated the key based off what it knows it knows that it's able to activate one of seven keys but then when it sends that information off to Microsoft, Microsoft is like, uh, no, no more. So before I wrap this up, let me take another moment to um, explain what I think could have happened with this scenario where the uh, person had installed Windows 11 21 H2 and was successfully able to activate. Either one of two things could have happened. Um, the one thing that I suspect is that hardware setup could have already had a digital license and the person installing 
didn't realize that. It's, I mean, it could happen. I mean, for example, I, I got a computer back here that when I originally had gotten it, it, um, I could have sworn that the previous owner of it never used Windows 10. I mean, he passed away in 2013, two years before Windows 10 came out. But I'm, I'm guessing his nephew might have used that computer a little bit and might have installed Windows 10 on it. When I received it, it didn't have a hard drive, so it had no OS. Um, but I put Windows 10 on there and it immediately had, had a license it activated. So there is a scenario that perhaps that horror configuration could have had a fingerprint ID with Microsoft's activation servers. It's just a possibility. And from my understanding, the way it works, at least now, is Windows 10 and Windows 11 they kind of interchange because, well, of course, Microsoft says that you can still install Windows 11 for free if you have a Windows 10 license. So that uh, that could be the scenario there, or the less likely scenario, which I don't really think is possible, because I think, if I was reading online, um, people who have successfully used a Windows 7 key to activate Windows 10, if they were to try to activate Windows 10 again with that key, it would fail after this change but there's a chance that maybe somehow that key might have been used to activate Windows 10 or Windows 11 and who knows maybe Microsoft servers accept that key since it had been previously used for Windows 10 although I'm doubtful about that so from what it seems the information in my previous video is accurate and still stands so anyways that's our first video hope you enjoyed it Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cubecomp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.